Someone requested that I make a video on how to use the Whirlpool washer machine. So here it goes. I'm doing a small load. I put the soap inside and I like to use this downy ball for the softener. It was $5 on Amazon. So I put it upside down and then we close the lid. What we do is here, first we select what we want, whether we want normal or uh, this is a quick wash over here. Uh, I usually use normal heavy duty if I'm doing sheets, quick wash if I'm doing like a baby load, um, active wear for sports stuff, bulky items could be for sheets too. So I'm gonna go ahead and select normal, then I'm gonna click on the on button and then as you can see some of the lights turn on so it's sensing here uh, the water temperature I'm gonna keep it at cold if you want to change it just go ahead and click the temperature button so it goes to cool warm hot so I'm gonna keep it on cold then the rinse options you have fabric softener or extra rinse again you just click that rinse button if you want a, a, a different option I'm gonna keep it just on fabric softener and then here under options you can do a 30 minute pre-soak or a deep water i personally like to click on the deep water because um when i didn't have this setting on i noticed that when the load finished some of the clothes were dry and they still smelled uh like sweat so i think that the water doesn't reach the entire load if you don't click on deep water and i have read that as one of the complaints about this washer machine so again to avoid that i like to click on deep water and then if you um are ready you can just click on hold on hold to start so you hold it for a few seconds and let it go and as you can hear that sound that sound uh, means it starts to work and it also locks the door so once the door is locked you'll see here the lid button turn on so now it's locked and you can't open the lid if you want to open the lid what you do is you click on the pause button here which is the same as hold to start so as you see the lid button is flashing right now and we have to wait it's it takes a while for the lid to unlock and open okay so now it's unlocked now we can open it it doesn't open by itself and then if you forgot to throw some more clothes in there you you know you can go ahead and do that so i'm gonna go ahead and close the lid let's say i added more clothes in there now i'm going to hold again the the play button to start and let it go and then eventually it starts moving and it still has to lock the lid so if you do pull it oh if you pull the lid open before it locks it's gonna stop the cycle so you cannot touch the lid it takes a while to lock and here we are waiting okay so now it locked now you cannot open the lid even if you tried until you um you know you you click on the pause button and your load should be done in about an hour it takes a long time to finish a load but it does a good job i have no complaints with the machine it is very loud compared to the machine that i previously had but it does its job and i do love the two-in-one removable agitator feature which is useful for sheets if you take it out it doesn't um it doesn't um you know if, if you take out the removable agitator the sheets will not tangle with each other so it does a really good job and then one button i didn't discuss is the faucet button which as you can see is running right now one time I tried the faucet feature when I had the lid open and I was still putting the soap in and then when I started the load that water just drained with the soap so that's the one reason why I don't use that faucet button when the 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 lid is open so I just let it do its cycle and I don't 
I don't like to do any anything else and it works just fine. So I hope this video can help you out there.